In this video, we will be going over Select, a plugin I made last year. And hopefully by the end of the video you will understand what this plugin can do and why you might want to use it. The purpose of the plugin is to speed up the process of performing certain actions related to the currently selected objects. It speeds up such processes because you aren't required to use the Explorer widget in most circumstances. That's why it's called Select. Which are the words Selection and Action morphed together. When you first install the plugin, you will need to set up a shortcut that will open up the plugin menu. To do that, you will need to go to File, Advanced, Customize Shortcuts, then you will type in Select Actions. And you just need to double click the shortcut box and press whatever shortcut you want it to be. I personally use P and occasionally Control P however, you can do whatever you want. And now, whenever you use the shortcut you picked, the plugin menu will open. The plugin has something which is known as the active object. In most circumstances, it is the last object that you have selected. In this case, if I turn on the select tool and click on this cabin model, you will see that it has an orange indicator in the middle of it. That signifies that it is the current active object. If I hold down control and click on this bell post, you can see that I have both of them selected, but the bell post is now the active object. If I continue selecting objects, you can see the tree now has the indicator. I can do the rock and now it has it. And so on and so forth. What this is going to be used for is the actions. The active object will be used as a reference for whatever action we want to perform. I am going to start off by talking about my most favorite action that the plugin provides. That action is parent to active object. If I open up the plugin menu, you will see that the very first option is parent to active object. Let's say that I wanted to parent this ladder over here to the cabin model. Without the plugin, I would have to select the ladder and the cabin to see where they are located in the Explorer widget. After that, I would need to drag the ladder model in the Explorer all the way down to the cabin model. That is very time consuming and painful when there are a lot of objects in the game. This pain is what the parent to active object action cures. What I can do is select the ladder first, and then select the cabin second so that it's the active object. After that I can press P and click parent to active object. When I do that, you can see here in the explorer that wood ladder is now parented under the wood cabin model. I can continue doing this for other objects too. Like this wood sign and even this lantern. Like always, the cabin needs to be selected last. Press P and select Parent to Active Object. There you have it. The sign and lantern are now parented underneath the cabin. There are three types of actions that the plugin can perform. There is Link with Active Object, Append from Active Object, and Clear Selected Objects. We'll start off with the most simple one, which is Clear Selected Objects. Let's say I wanted to remove all the attributes from this part that I have selected. And let's say I want to remove the ones from this other part as well. What I would do is open the plugin menu, go to clear selected objects, and then click on clear attributes. As you can see, what that does is remove all of their attributes. It does the same exact thing for children and tags. This is useful for cleaning objects that had an old purpose that is no longer relevant. I actually often find myself using all three of them in a row. In the future I might make a fourth option that clears all three in one shot. The next one I want to talk about is Link with Active Object. What this one does is clear the selected object's children, attributes, or tags. After that, it will copy and paste the children, attributes, or tags from the active object to the rest of the selected objects. Let's say I have two of these blue parts. And let's say I wanted to link the attributes from this black part to these blue parts. Right now these blue parts only have these two attributes. When I link the attributes from the active object, the enabled attribute will disappear from the blue parts. So what I need to do is select both blue parts first and then the black part last. That way the black part is the active object. Then I will go to link with active object. And then click on link attributes. Once I do that, you'll notice that both blue parts now have the same exact attributes as the black part, just like I wanted. So that's what link with active object does. You can do it with tags and children as well. Append from active object is a little different. The only difference is that it doesn't do any kind of clearing before copy and pasting children, attributes, or tags. 
This is useful if you want to take attributes from an existing object and put them on a different object. This blue part has an attribute called enabled. However, the black part does not have an attribute called enabled. On the contrary, it does have an attribute called title text. What it will do is take all the attributes from the black part and put them onto the blue part. When it does that, it won't get rid of the enabled attribute, but it will overwrite the title text attribute. So if I go ahead and append the attributes from the black part, you will see that the blue part's title text attribute says top donator now, instead of untitled. You will also see that the enabled attribute is still there. And those are the three types of actions you can perform with select. Here's an example situation where the plugin may come in handy. Let's say I'm in the middle of returning the map from winter to spring. I have this tree over here with a surface appearance object that has the textures for the spring leaves. And what I need to do is replace all the surface appearances used for the winter leaves with the one for spring leaves. To do this, I would need to select all the surface appearances used for the winter leaves. Then select their parents. That way the mesh parts with the winter surface appearances are selected. After that, I need to select the tree mesh part that has the spring leaf surface appearance so that way it's the active object. Once that is done, all I need to do is open the plugin menu and link the children. And that's all there is to it. Now all of them have those luscious green leaves. You may have already noticed it, but when you open up the plugin menu, there are two options called Undo Selection and Redo Selection. They do exactly what you would expect them to do. Let's say I selected this tree, and a few other trees around the map. There are many occasions where I accidentally unselect them. And when I do that, without the plugin, I would need to reselect everything one by one again. With the plugin though, I just need to open up the plugin menu and click Undo Selection. Now I have those objects selected once again. The last thing I wanted to talk about is the settings widget. It's very simple. I'm going to resize it so you can see it better. All it does is allow you to configure stuff related to the active object. Right now I have the highlight for the active object disabled. If I enable it, you can sort of see it, but it's not the greatest. The reason for this is because I have the Selection Improvements beta enabled. The beta uses the Highlight instance to highlight the selected objects, which conflicts with the highlight for the active object. This plugin was made before the Selection Improvements beta, so that's why the option exists. I would highly recommend turning off the highlight for the active object when you first install the plugin. You can also disable the sphere indicator, but I wouldn't recommend that because I find it to be the most reliable way to see which object is the active object. You can also change the color used for the highlight and sphere indicator. You don't need to change it, but you can if you want. I know some people like having certain color schemes. The last setting is used for printing the name of the active object in the output widget. This is useful for when you want to perform actions on objects that aren't visible in the viewport. For example, I have stuff outside of workspace, like these instances inside lighting. And when I work with these, I may select a bunch of them. Let's say I use select children on lighting. I have no clue which of the four instances are the active object. But if I turn on the output active object setting, I can see that the atmosphere object is the one that's considered the active object. As you can see, it can't show an indicator in the viewport for these instances. So this setting is useful if you need help keeping track of which object is the active object if you can't see an indicator in the viewport. Hopefully you now understand better what the plugin can be used for and why you might want to use it. You can find the link to the plugin in the description if you're interested in buying a copy for yourself. Have yourself a nice day.